Yes, what do you want? Can I use your time machine? There better be a damn good reason to use it. I don't let people use my time machine for just any reason. I wanna see Pearl Selection here in theaters. So you wanna go back in time just to see a movie? Paradoxes can happen, terrorists might win, our time can be corrupt to the point it's a mess. By just watching a movie? Yes, don't you know a minor change in the past can have a massive effect on the present? Besides, why is it so important to you to see the movie in theaters? You have more freedom when you watch the movie at home. You know what? You're absolutely right. I don't need to time travel anymore. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Movie Fan and it's time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing Purge Election Year. Now this is the third movie of the Purge trilogy and I have never seen the other two movies. Which is fine, I'm supposed to judge this movie on its own merits. And that's exactly what I will be doing. Having said that, I am gonna start by talking about the concept for this movie. Not exactly the concept for this movie, but the concept for the franchise in general. It's apparently about a day where all crime is legal, which includes murder and rape. And I seriously gotta ask, who the hell besides sociopaths wants a day where murder is legal? Nobody besides sociopaths would take advantage of something like that. So that's fucking stupid. Of course, any rational person would use a day like that to steal very expensive items from jewelry stores and stuff like that and not get any consequences for it. But yeah, no one rational would want to murder anyone. Now that I've talked about how fucking stupid this concept is, I am going to talk about this movie. In this movie, there is a senator who is trying to make Purge Day disappear for good. And you know what? I am rooting for her. She's a great woman and I want her to win. And this can make for a great movie. But unfortunately, there are far more things I hate about the movie than there are things I like about it. I'm going to start by talking about the senator, Charlie Rowan, played by... Elizabeth Mitchell. Now she has a very scary backstory and I can see exactly why she wants to end the purge once and for all. Now of course the people behind the purge that operated don't like it at all. In fact they do everything in their power to assassinate her and use the purge as an excuse to kill her and not receive any consequences. Now she's a fucking awesome woman and I want her to be safe no matter what. Not only that, I'm also rooting for her to fucking win in the movie. With that being said, she is the only thing about this movie that I would say is fucking awesome. Now the next character that I would like to talk about is a store owner, Joe Dixon, played by McKelly Williamson. Now the reason he wants to stay in the store during Purge Day is because he cares about his store more than he cares about his life which I find to be fucking stupid but whatever I'll go with it but that's not really the problem I have with this guy the problem I have with this guy is the fact that he is extremely fucking forgettable I mean he is brave and wants to help the senator but that's the only good thing I can say about him I will forget about him in a few days, I'm sure of it, and it's not just him. Every character, except for the senator, are very fucking forgettable. Now it's time to talk about the villains of the movie, and the villains are characters that I have big issues with. My main issue with the villains of the movie is the fact that they are complete fucking morons. What do I mean by that? During Purge Day, they have the perfect opportunity to kill the senator and not receive any consequences for that. But then when they can easily shoot her, they don't do it. In fact, they just fucking torture her. What the fuck? 
They know that with her killed parts will continue, yet they don't kill her in the movie. What the fuck? That's seriously fucking stupid. There's another big problem with this movie that I need to discuss, and that's the fucking action sequences. Now the action sequences are extremely fucking unrealistic and the protagonists barely get hurt. I mean they aren't totally invincible, there are a few times in the movie where they do get hurt, but they barely get hurt. In fact, they can harm the villains a lot more than the villains can harm the protagonists. There is no tension. At no point did I feel that they were in real danger, as I could tell that they could easily survive all unrealistic situations. Now, I wouldn't mind this and would be totally okay with this if this was supposed to be a dumb action movie that you aren't supposed to take seriously. But the reason why it doesn't work for this movie is because it's clearly meant to be a serious movie. And because of that, those unrealistic gun scenes really do more harm to the movie than good. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. The main reason why I wanted to see this movie is because Jeremy Jans gave it the dog shit rating. And I thought that because he did that, that this movie would be perfect for my worst movies of 2016 list. And I was right. The senator is the only fucking awesome part of the movie. Everything else about it is complete horseshit. And for that I'm going to give this movie the rating two middle fingers. Well guys, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.